In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on the maintenance margin as it relates to investments in equity securities, um, which is going to be a case when you buy um, securities on margin, i.e. using leverage or borrowed money. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want us to go through. An investor purchases 300 shares of stock at a price of $80 per share. The purchase was made on a margin, that is with borrowed money, with an initial margin of 50%. Now the initial margin of 50% means that um, the investor uh, contributed 50% of the purchase price of those 300 shares. Uh, the rest was lent to them by the financial institution, by the broker, I guess. Assuming a maintenance margin of 25%, the stock price below which the investor will receive a margin call is closest to, and we've got three potential choices here. Now, I want you to correctly understand what it is that we're talking about. And there is a formula that you can use to compute this. However, you know, I would much rather you appreciate the logic rather than, you know, learn the formula off by heart, um, seeing as it may not, you know, stick in your head as much as if you do understand the logic and can de derive the formula yourself at any point in time. Um, it doesn't matter that we bought 300 shares. It doesn't matter whether it was 30, 300 or 3,000. So let's focus on the problem on a sort of per share, per single share level. The purchase price was 80. However, we as investors only contributed half of that price uh, towards the purchase. So on a single share basis, that would have been 40. And this um, would, I guess, be described as be described as your initial margin. Now, what may happen, obviously, is that the stock price may change. Potentially, and this is the risky bit, it may go down in value to some, you know, fresh level, which I'm going to call P or denote as P to um, symbolize the price. As the stock price potentially goes down, but this also um, pertains to movements upwards, what will happen is money will be deducted in case of price drops from your margin account. So the level of your margin account is going to go down or potentially up in response to what's happening to the share price or the stock price. If there is a drop, I don't know, of $10 in stock price, your margin account is going to be get, you know, go down by $10. And what this question is asking for is, what is the price level to which the stock needs to drop for us to receive a margin call, a request to put in additional money into our margin account. Well, we're told that the maintenance margin is 20%, sorry, 25%. So you're going to get a request for additional margin for additional collateral from the broker if the value of the margin account drops to a level where it is equal to 25% of the current price of the security. Okay, And we need to find what that price of the security is, what the level of P, this doesn't look much like a P, okay, this is P is. That's going to be our mathematical problem. Now, how can we express this? Well, we're going to find a level of P which satisfies the following mathematical um, relationship. The margin account changes by whatever happens to the price. So initially, the margin account is 40, but then it goes up or down depending on how this P fluctuates. So I said that we can potentially have additions to the margin account or deductions from the margin account, and it all depends on what's happening to the stock price. If you imagine the stock price going up, then obviously what's going to be added to the margin account is the change 
of P minus the initial level of 80. So if the stock price goes, I don't know, to 90, that's going to represent 90 minus 80, a 10 dollar increase which is going to be added to the margin account if on the other hand the stock price drops to 70 you know then that's going to be 70 minus 80 a 10 dollar drop and that's going to be deducted from the margin account so this kind of expresses not kind of precisely express, expresses the level of the margin account as a function of what happens to the price of the stock and i'm looking for a point at which the value of the margin account, which I've got over here, when you relate it to P, the current price level, satisfies the following relationship. It's at a level of 25% or 0 0.25. And, you know, from now on, it's going to be quite easy to transform this mathematically. We're going to have 40 plus in brackets or without brackets, it doesn't really matter, 40 plus P minus 80 equals 0 0.25 P. P is the price, the current level of price. And, you know, very, very simple transformation here. If I take this uh, 0 0.25 P over to this side where I've got just 1 P, I'm going to get 0 0.75 P equals 2. I'm going to take the 40 and 80 to the other side of the equation, ending up with 40 or 40 dollars. So now solving for P is saying, well, what's 40 divided by 0 .30, uh, 0 0.75? And I'm going to show you my calculator. This is really a very easy thing to do. 40 divided by 0 0.75, uh, 0 0.75 is 53.33 dollars and that's going to be the answer to the problem and as you can see this corresponds to solution c over here when the price drops to 53.53 i mean we can check whether this uh, answer really satisfies the uh, problem so when the price drops to 53.33 what's the magnitude what's the size of that drop from 80 well 80 minus 53.33, that's a drop of 26 point, you know, 67 or 6666. Now, from the point of view of our margin account, deducting 40, doing 40 minus 26.67 would give us a level of 13.33 in our margin account if we you know suffer this deduction over here as well that's the same drop as up here and now take 13.33 the value of the margin account once that drop has been suffered and relate it to the current share price 13.33 divided by 53.33 equals almost exactly 25%. This is due to me rounding to 33. I can see an answer of 24.99%. So this is indeed the price level which satisfies this equation or this relationship.